Let's look at basic eigenvalues and eigenvectors in a 2 by 2 linear system. The linear system, y prime equals ay, the coefficient matrix, a, b, c, d. The trace, a plus d, and the determinant, a, d minus b, c. The characteristic equation gives rise to two eigenvalues. And when I subtract an eigenvalue on the main diagonal, let's call that the adjusted matrix. For example, if the system has a coefficient matrix 1, 4, minus 2, minus 5. Trace is minus 4, determinant is 3, and the two eigenvalues are minus 3 and minus 1. In each case, I have an adjusted matrix by subtracting minus 3 on the main diagonal first, and I have 4, 4, minus 2, minus 2. Notice how the two rows of the adjusted matrix are multiples of each other? That has to be the case, otherwise you've done something wrong. And I want to find a vector that gets killed by the just adjusted matrix basically want to find a vector whose column is perpendicular to these two parallel rows. And for a, a two-dimensional vector, all I have to do is change the coordinates and change one of the sides, signs. So I say 4 and 4, I switch those and change one sign. I could say 4 and minus 4, but it'd be easier just to say 1 and minus 1. That creates a base solution, 1 minus 1, e to the negative 3t. Basically, the base solution is eigenvector e to the eigenvalue t. In the case of the second eigenvalue minus 1, I subtract minus 1 on the main diagonal and I have 2, 4, minus 2, minus 4. So make sure you subtract carefully. These two rows are multiples of each other and a vector that gets killed by either one of those rows is 2 and minus 1. That produces 0, 0. That's perpendicular to both rows. So 2 and minus 1 is an eigenvector for the eigenvalue negative 1. And I have a base solution. y2 is 2 minus 1 times e to the minus t. The 1 minus 1 and the 2 minus 1 are called eigenvectors of the matrix A. 1, 4, minus 2, minus 5. They're associated with the eigenvalues minus 3 and minus 1, respectively. When you're choosing eigenvectors, make things as easy on yourself as possible. Don't choose fractions if you can avoid it, and you pretty much can always avoid it. Don't choose eigenvectors with common factors. That just makes numbers larger than they need to be. And if you can, just lead off with a positive first coordinate. It makes things easier to look at.